This is FC Squared Coaching Center, and this is the continuation of word problems. So part three na po tayo ng word problems. So another three, another set of uh, worded problems na i discuss ko po. So compose po tayo ng uh, three problems dito. So problem one with motion. Okay, so I, I think meron tayong dalawang motion problem dito class. So let's start. So problem number one, this is problem number one for word problems, part three. Tatay Cardin rode his bike at 20 kilometers per hour to get his car. He then drove back at 60 kilometers per hour. If the entire trip took him 10 hours, how far was his car? Kung basahin natin dito sa problem class, ang ibig sabihin nito class, sa umpisa, nagbike siya. Okay, so sa umpisa nagbike siya, ito draw ko lang. So from this point, going to this point, no, going to this point, si Tatay Carding ay nagbike. So ito po siya, ito yung path na nagbike siya. Okay, bike. And then, after niya nagbike, pabalik siya, ito naman yung nagdrive siya. Okay, using his car. Okay, so again yung color red na yan class. Itong color red na to, ito yung nagbike siya. Ito pabalik na to, ito yung nagcar siya. Ang distance traveled parehas lang, okay? Pero it will take time sa magbike kasi nga yung speed ng nagbike siya is 20 kilometers per hour and then pabalik siya nagdrive siya, drove back at 60 kilometers per hour. Now, if the entire trip, ibig sabihin po nun class, entire trip took 10 hours, okay? So, from here, going to here, tapos pupunta dito, pabalik sa original point niya, it will take 10 hours. Now, the question now, class, is how far away was his car? So, the distance, how far away was his car? Is it letter A, 250 kilometers, letter B, 200 kilometers, Letter C, 150 kilometers. And letter D, 100 kilometers. Now, ang technique sa motion problem class is we make a table. And then sa table na yun, uh, meron tayong three columns. We have distance, rate, and time. Okay? In every motion problem, ito yung napaka-effective na technique na gagamitin natin. Now, sa problem class, given yung rate in which nagbike siya na 20 kilometers per hour, and then given din yung rate na nag-drive siya na 60 kilometers per hour. So, dito 20, okay, 20 dyan, then 60 dito sa baba. So, dito sa, sa R, this is 20, Tapos, uh, sa baba naman, for bike that is 60. Okay, 60 naman dito. 60. Okay. So, 20. 20 ang rate for biking and 60 ang rate for, for driving. Ang time it will take naman, basta total time ng dalawa, T-bike o tsaka T-drive, dapat mag-total ng 10 hours. So, let's say, the time it will take mag-bike is T, therefore, the time it will take na mag-drive is 10 minus T. Okay? So, ayan po siya. So, para mas klaro, tanggalin ko muna itong uh, sinulat ko. Okay? So, 24 ang rate sa nag-bike. And then, yung rate naman na nag-drive siya is 60. Ayan po siya. And then, the time it will take na nag-bike siya is T. The time it will take... Na nag-drive siya is 10 minus T. Bakit 10 minus T? Kasi nga, the total time travel niya is 10 hours. So therefore, since T, ang time ng nag-bike siya, isa-subtract na lang po natin doon sa, sa 10. Para makuha natin ang time it will take na nag-drive po siya. So it follows distance equals to uh, rate times time. So you multiply 20 times time, that is 20 T. And 60 times 10 minus t, that is 60 times 10 minus t. So, let's equate that the distance na nag-bike siya equals lang sa distance na nag-drive po siya. So, therefore, ano yung, yung formula na to solve for the distance na nag-bike siya? Ayan po siya, class D, 20t, and then yung nag-drive siya, 60 times 10 minus, 10 minus t. Okay? Now, take note that 20 and 60, pwede mo makancel ng 20 at sa 63 na lang yung 
na e1. So therefore, ang mangyari, we have t equals to 3 times 10 minus t. And then, ang next is, i-distribute natin itong 3, papasok dito, so magiging 30, papasok dito, magiging minus 3t. And then, itong minus 3t class, i-transpose naman natin sa kabilang side. So we have t plus 3t equals to 30, then t plus 3t, that is 40, and then, Yung 40 na to class, divide natin both sides by 4, kaya ang naiwan is t equals to 30 over 4. So, 30 divided by 4 class, the time it will take na mag-travel siya na nag-bike is 7.5 hours. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po ng 7.5 hours, from here going to here, it will take him 7.5 hours, then... Pabalik naman yung here, papunta dito, 10 minus t, that nag-take siya ng 10 minus 7.5, that is 2.5 hours. Pero hindi naman po yung time ang tinatanong dito. Ang tinatanong dito is how far. So therefore, ang tinatanong dito, distance from this point going to this point. Okay? So therefore, pwede natin gamitin yung formula for the distance, 20t, or pwede rin ito 60 times 10 minus t. Since that, ang t na nasolve natin is 7.5, so therefore 20 times 7.5. So 20 times 7.5, that is 150 kilometers, and that is letter, letter C. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkakasolve at pagkakadiscuss ko ng solution sa problem na ito. Problem number two, one-way plane fare from Manila to Jensan is 6,900 pesos. How many round-trip tickets can be purchased with the amount of 124,200 pesos? Now, take note class, masolve po natin yung round-trip fare. Kasi ang given naman na 6,900 is one-way fare lang yun from Manila to Jensan. Siyempre, ang ginakonsider natin every time we book a, a plane ticket is yung papunta at pabalik. So therefore, yung papunta at pabalik, Manila to Jensen, Jensen to Manila, the round trip fare is 6,900 papunta and 6,900 pabalik. So 6,900 times 2. So the round trip fare is 13,800 pesos. So ang tanong, uh, since nagbayad siya, Ang total na binayaran mo is 124,200. Ilang round trip fare ang binili mo? So therefore, the num number of round trip tickets na binili niya is i-divide itong 124,200 divided by sa round trip fare. So 124,200 divided by 13,800 that is the number of round trip tickets ay 9. So therefore, the correct answer po dito class is letter Ayun, that is letter D. So, we have 9 round trip tickets. Okay, so I hope klaro po yung pagkakadiscuss ko, clear po yung pagkakadiscuss ko, clear po ba? And if ever hindi man, you can message me directly sa Facebook or sa Messenger and then I screenshot ko lang yung specific na tanong po ninyo. Okay, so ayun. Okay, problem number 3. Basahin ko po yung problem number 3. Mrs. Raimundo left her house at 7.30 a.m. and drove her car at 40 kilometers per hour. She rested for half an hour. What time will she reach the, her destination which is 700 kilometers away? Okay, 700 kilometers away. Now, the, the remember the formula for the motion problem to solve for the distance that is d equals to rt and take note also in this problem the given po yung distance which is 700 kilometers 700 kilometers po yung distance and then given po yung rate the 40 kilometers per hour so therefore to so solve po natin yung time it will consume now without stop without resting so without resting the time it will take is yun t equals to dr and which yung d not 700 kilometers and then yung R natin is 40 kilometers per hour. So 700 divided by 40, the total time without resting is 17.5 hours. Kaso nga, sa problem na to, nag po siya ng, ng half an hour. So therefore, we add 0.5 hours. Yung 0.5 hours na po yan is resting time po yan. So therefore, the total time na nag-travel siya is 18 hours. Now, tanong, 18 hours, what is the time from 7.30 a.m. 
na 18 hours from 7.30 a.m. Always remember class, na 12 hours po siya pag galing ng uh, uh, 7.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So, itong 7.30 a.m. na to class, okay, ito siya, uh, a.m. Okay, remember, take note of a.m. Ang 7.30 p.m. niya class, 7.30 p.m., uh, that is 12 hours from 7.30 a.m. So, ito, this is 7.30 30 p.m. Again, ulitin ko po ah. 7 ang 7:30 a.m. to 7:30 p.m. that is 12 hours po 'yan. So therefore from 7:30 p.m. bilangin natin from 7:30 p.m. So this is 12 to. So 18 minus 12 6 hours na lang. So we will count 6 hours from 7:30 p.m. So 6 hours from 7:30 p.m. count tayo first. Uh, 8.30 as 1, 9.30 as 2, 10.30 as 3, 11.30 as 4, uh, 12.30 as 5, and 1.30 as AM na yun, 1.30 as the 6. So therefore, 18 hours from 7.30 AM is 1.30 AM. So that is letter, letter D. So, the correct answer for this problem is letter letter D. Again, okay, thank you for watching and that's all for Civil Service Exam Math Review Word Problems Part 3. And yung next topic natin is Worded Problems Part 4 naman tayo. I hope you continue to subscribe sa channel po natin and if may tanong, you can uh, message me po sa Messenger or sa Facebook. So, sorry lang po if hindi po ako makareply agad. Okay? So, meron kasi akong inuuna ng mga students sa online ko po, lalo na sa engineering. So, naka-enroll po kasi sila, nagbayad po sila for a one-on-one -on -one or from a online coaching or online review para din sa board exam nila. So, sa mga gusto nyo mag-avail ng online tutorial, you can PM me or ask for me for the details. Nag-offer po ako ng uh, cheap, cheapest lang naman na online tutorial or coaching. So, in a way, maka-help din po ako sa inyo sa nalalapit po ninyo na board exam or civil or licensure exam or civil service exam. So, again, if may request kayo na word problems or any problems, math problems na gusto nyo ipasolve, na ipopost ko dito sa channel, you can PM me the problems. Well, let's uh, dihan nyo na rin yung, yung choices. I'm willing po to help and solve that problem. Again, thank you and have a nice day.